Hey guys, it's Robin. I hope this is recording. Um, but when I saw you guys last, I was going off to Nicole's place, or dorm, university thing, the area where Nicole inhabits. Um, and that was a lot of fun. I went and I spent a long time on a bus, about, actually it wasn't that long, it was only about an hour to two hours-ish. So it wasn't that bad. Um, the one issue was I was trying to get to the 515 bus. And so I did all these preparations. I was so sure I was going to get to the 515 bus. I got on the subway as fast as I could. I like ran from my singing lesson to the subway. And then I pulled up. I was running across the street to get to the station. The bus left early. Yeah, it left like three minutes early, so if it had left on time, I would have made it, and I would have been able to be there like two hours earlier, but as it was, I had to wait for like the 6.45 bus, so I didn't get there until a lot later, um, but it was still a lot of fun. I got there, and I got to meet a bunch of Nicole's friends, and see what university life is really like. It was fine. Oh, and when I got back from Brock, I looked at my email and I saw that for some reason, at some point I must have signed up for something with Brock and they gave me a website, like a username and a password and they're just like, we noticed your interest in Brock. So here's your password for it. I have no clue where they got my email. I've been going through it in my head and I can't think of any time where I gave out my email when I was there. But, I don't know, I must have, I think. But, I don't know, it's kind of weird. Kind of a little bit Big Brother-ish. But actually it's very helpful, because I am considering Brock. Nicole sent me a text message. Let me see if I can get it. I'll be right back. We were talking about stuff, and I mentioned learning disabilities and stuff like that. And Nicole sent, sent me a thing that said, Never forget what you are. The rest of the world will not. Uh, wear it like armor, and it can never be used to hurt you. And I was sitting there, and I'm thinking, wow, that's really inspirational. Like, going out to the world, and it's taking things that other people are going to make fun of, and using them to your advantage, and wearing them with pride. And I thought that, wow, that's really wise. And then... She sent me a, another text saying that that was a quote from Game of Thrones. Yeah. That is one thing. I find that you can find wise, song, like, wise quotes from almost anywhere. For example, um, I saw one and it said, um, the grass isn't always greener on the other side, it's greener where you water it. And I was looking at that online and I was thinking, wow, that's, again, such an inspirational quote. It tells you to, like, it doesn't matter where you are in life, it's just what you do with it. You can make things better for yourself. It was from Justin Bieber. Yeah. Oh, well. So, I believe that's all the news that's fit to print, and I will try and edit this and have it up on time. Although that's highly unlikely, because I've been blabbing for like 20 minutes-ish. Actually, I can tell you. Yeah, I've been blabbing for 18 minutes. So, I will try and edit this down, and I will see you guys later. And hopefully Nicole will post. Although, if she's not posting, she's probably not checking the site, so this isn't going to be very helpful. But she's at university, and I know she's very busy, Laura. So this is a message to Laura. So, yeah. It's, it's an explanation. She does have an excuse, and it's a pretty valid one. Anyway, and I will see you guys later, and I will see Laura on Monday, I believe. I probably got that wrong. I don't know. But I'll see you guys again next Thursday. Okay, see ya. Bye.